Hello, welcome to tutorial number six. Today we are going to show you how to create individual permissions on individual users. On previous tutorials we've showed you how to make the access levels. The one that we're going to work with in with the specifics is working hours. At the minute we can see that we've got a canteen, a main entrance and a managing director's door. For this example what I'm going to do is in users and staff I have somebody called Jones. I'm going to pretend that Jones is company secretary and personal secretary to the MD who from time to time needs to go in the MD's office when he's or she's not there. So what we're going to do is Again, if we just check on the working hours, we can see that she can get in the canteen, get in the main entrance, but not the managing director's office. So what we're going to do is here, we've got an option for individual permissions. So we're going to select that option, and we're going to use working hours as a template. What we can do over here, we can see we can come in the canteen and the main entrance at working hours, but the MD's door at no time. If we click on the box where it says no time, we get some options here. We can actually change that to working hours. Down at the bottom here, we need to click on apply. And what that will do now is that will give Jones specific access to the MD's door in and the other two doors as well. If we just check back on the access levels, we can still see that everybody else who's within the access level of working hours does not have access to that door. There is only Jones as we've given them individual permissions. Now we can do this for any number of people, but it saves making up loads of different access levels in case specific people need to be able to get into extra doors compared to others. And that's all that you need to do to do this really. If there's anything else I can help you with, send me a message and I'll see what I can help you with. Thank you.